Do you want to see what you can get for under $700,000 here in Inver Grove Heights? We're going to give you a tour of this beautiful house and stick around to the very end of the video. You're not going to believe what Joey found downstairs and a secret that not many people know about. What? You're going to want to stick around. But enough about us. Let's, Let's start, start the video. video. start though I need you to give this video a thumbs up sub to the channel maybe hit that notification bell so you can be the first to know what's happening in the Inver Grove Heights market all right so right now you're in the office very spacious office double door here it's nice not gonna lock you in come on Melissa we gotta start let's go okay we have the powder room off of here really nice simple powder room closet come on in one of my favorite parts of the entire house the kitchen we have quartz countertops we have gas range built-in microwave built-in oven gigantic pantry it's almost walk-in almost maybe if I was a little bit smaller Stainless steel appliances. We have an incredible island here. Sink in the island as well. Plenty of cabinet space. I love that backsplash as well. Um, and then we're gonna pass it off to Erica. Thanks, Blake. Hey guys, this is probably one of my favorite spots. Look at the view from the dining room. It doesn't get any better than that. You don't even probably need shades. Come on, we're gonna go in the main level. This is the owner suite. Look at how wide open we've got. Cove ceiling. We've got an awesome fan, and again, look at the view. It's pretty amazing, even these cute little transom windows. Now follow me to the owner's ensuite. Tons of light, his and hers. We got storage galore. Love having this extra light for putting on makeup. It's just a beautiful view out there. This is awesome. We don't have to do with any glass. Wide open little spot, shower. And then we've got the powder area here. Again, tons of space. Look at this. Wide open, amazing master closet. So much space that you, I mean, you have total organization. This is probably one of the coolest little spots right off here. Look at the laundry room. Lots of spots, lots of space, wide open. You could do hooks over here. I mean, pretty amazing. Now, let's see what's in this door. Hey. Oh, it's Blake! <laughs> Good to see you again. <laughs> All right, so right off of the laundry room there, you're gonna have the two-car garage. We're just gonna take a quick peek in there. Really, really tall ceilings in there. Two-car garage. And then we have the mud room off of the garage here. Coat closets, plenty of room for all the coats here in the Minnesota winters. Get your gloves, all of that in there. Keep coming here. All right, so you have this incredibly spacious living area. Mount the TV, couch, chair, nice windows, lots of light. And then I'm gonna send it downstairs to Joey. Hey, before we head downstairs, we should take a minute and just check out this amazing view of the backyard. I totally love this double window stack. It's amazing, lets tons of light in, but I could sit here all day, but let's go downstairs and check out the lower level. Come on, follow me. As we get downstairs, we're greeted with this stone surround gas fireplace. Huge living room that also walks out, walks out to your patio on the lower level. And down here, we also have two more bedrooms. One in there, one in there with a full bath between.
All right, back in the main family room down here. If you're thinking, gosh, I wish I had more space. Where could I find the space? The wall is stuck right here. Well, let's take you through this wall. All right, we made it through this wall. Look at this amazing flex space back here. This could be an additional bedroom. It could be a workout space. It could be anything you want, or you could just expand the living room all the way out here. All right, that's a tour of the lower level. Now follow me back upstairs. We'll reconnect with Blake and Erica, and we'll talk about all the local area amenities. All right, so now that we're back up in this amazing kitchen, I just wanna talk about the local area amenities. So what we have that's really close to this house, we have Target Shopping Center, great place for all the family needs and groceries, and also for some of our restaurant lovers, we have Kindred Hearth. Kindred Hearth is just under two miles away, and Kindred Hearth has gourmet burgers, pizzas, and amazing pasta. You'll have to check it out. It's located at the Viking Lakes Omni Hotel. Incredible date night spot. We love it. Check, I, <laughs> Melissa. Happy hours. Where, where did we go? When did we go there? We went there for your birthday, right? For the, we went there for two birthdays. Yes. We went there for the events. It was, it's an incredible spot. If you haven't gone to Kinder Earth, winter, check it out. And in the winter, they have like that ice skating rink. Mm. They bring a bar, food, everything. It's pretty amazing. Awesome spot. Kids will love it and adults. And for those of you that like sushi, Iwa Sushi is just down the street as well, right across from I'm hungry. Target. <laughs> I'm so hungry right now. Yeah. One more additional thing that's really cool to this location is there is another uh, single lane mountain bike track. This mountain bike track is crazy. We uh, took our kids yeah. there. Our kids were like that's 10 and safe, seven. But they're doing it. Look, it is a dangerous <laughs> mountain bike track. Moms, make sure you watch your kids when they're doing it. Give them helmets. The jumps are huge, but it's actually an amazing local area amenity. And then for workout people that love the fitness, we have F45, which is right over by Target as well. And we have the Grove Aquatic and Fitness Center. Yep. And a secret that not many people know about. What? Behind the Grove is a skate board park. Oh yeah, that's amazing. Yeah, there's it's a, like, they got skate ramps. Nobody really knows about it, honestly. So, Sometimes the kids check it out. There's the two dangerous things in those local area amenities. One is this crazy mountain bike track. Yeah. We'll put that one in there. Our boys love it. And then the skateboard park. Make sure they got some helmets on or live like you're back in the old days and just go rip it. Grab your coffee bombs. <laughs> <laughs> no, I love it. I love this house. You walk in, it has the wow, the view. I love it. Melissa, just turn around, like, look at this view. Everywhere you look, is, you don't even see anything but grass, I mean green. It's pretty amazing. My name is Blake Sutta. I'm Erica Clark. And I'm Joey, and together we run the Exceeding Expectations real estate team, and we believe that finding the right real estate agent should never be overwhelming or stressful. And we've helped a lot of people make a move to Invergrove Heights and even... Even all the surrounding areas of Invergrove Heights. And move out of Invergrove Heights. And we've helped them. Look at all these reviews. Look at all these clients that we've helped right here. So if you're thinking about moving to Invergrove Heights in the next nine days or... 90 days. Give us a call, shoot us a message, send us a text, or visit this website, livingingigh.com. We'd be more than happy to help you make a move to Ember Grove Heights, Minnesota. So that's it for today's video. We'll see you at the next one. See you at the next video. Let's go.